So Think Progress put together this, just, it's incredible, this story, because it, it's just another way in which the way that politics functions in the United States of America is not only far from perfect, it's just downright silly and stupid in a lot of ways. So we've talked about gerrymandering before on the show, and it's clear now that the only reason the Republicans were able to maintain control of the House of Representatives is because of gerrymandering. All of the votes are almost done being counted now, and the Democrats won the House by 1.36 million votes. I'll repeat that. The Democrats won by 1.36 million votes and lost. As a percentage, the Democrats got 49.15% of the vote, and the Republicans got 48.03% of the vote. And the Democrats lost. So as a result of the gerrymandering, do you know how much the Democrats would have to win by in order to get a majority in the House? Well, just to give you some perspective, in 2010, the Republicans cleaned house, man. They destroyed the Democrats in the midterm elections, and they took a commanding control of the House of Representatives. It was a bloodbath. Everybody admits that, whether you're a Democrat, Republican, Independent, whatever. They had won by 6.6%. So in order for the Democrats to win the House, just to get a simple majority, just to have one more person in the House of Representatives than the Republicans do, the Democrats would now have to win by 7%. Gerrymandering is a sick joke. I mean, to say that you put the Democrats at a disadvantage, you gotta win by 7% just to get a simple majority? So in order for the Democrats to get a simple majority, they have to overwhelmingly wipe out the Republicans, even more so than the Republicans wiped out the Democrats in 2010.